Welcome once again to AP Computer Science. What we're looking at today is we're going to be doing the 6.00 um, assignment, which is exercise 232. We're going to write a query method. What was a query method? The query method means we're just checking something out. We're going to look at something and we're going to return to this previous state, okay, as opposed to an action method, which does something. Okay, so you're going to set him to look what, do what, to see if there is a uh, CD before. Okay, so the executor tells whether a CD is in the slot before the current slot. So he's going to go there and check it, and he's going to return to the current position. So there's only going to be one return statement, and the precondition is the executor is not at the first slot in the sequence. So once again, here's the difference between your action and your query method at the beginning of the chapter. You might want to go back and review that. This section also introduces Boolean methods, which return either true or false. Exercises are on page 224 of chapter 2. So now here we're back into chapter 2 of Blue Jay, and we've got our VIC here. So this method is inside the VIC. So I open up, open the editor, and I'm going to come down to query methods. Here's the query methods, and I'm going to go to the end of query methods to put a new one in. So I'm right here. So I'm going to um, Start in here with a comment. I'm just going to add it here. I cut and pasted it from the text. And where I clicked enter, it automatically added me a star. So there's my comment. Next, I'm going to write public class my Vic extends Vic. I'm going to click enter, beginning curly brace. So they tell me that this method is going to be called uh, Boolean has one before. So I'm going to write, it's so going to be public method. It's going to be called Boolean has one before. And of course, I'm going to do an, an opening curly brace. First, I'm going to back up to the slot before. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to check to see if there's a CD there. So now I'm going to give that a Boolean value that's going to either return true or false to whether or not there's a CD there. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move on. Okay, so now um, we're going to either return true or false. Either there's been, there's a CD in there or there isn't. So I'll just post it in there, return, and we're returning. We're returning this value to return. And that's all there is to exercise uh, 232. So I'm going to close it out. And you curly brace, enter. And then and um, closing it out. Now I just compile. So next we go on to exercise 237. It says rewrite the C's to empty listing in 210 so it contains only one return statement. So this is in the chapter Boolean Expressions Crash Guards. So here we're going to see that um, if you have two conditions, C slot and doesn't C C D in here, uh, the and operator, um, you have to have both conditions to be true in order for this to work. So a crash guard in this particular situation would be if it doesn't see a slot, then it doesn't run C C. Uh, doesn't CCD. 
Because if there's no slot there, of course, there's no CD there. But it doesn't check that because if this returns a false, if the first state returns are false, it just moves on. So that's the uh, and statement. So that's considered a crash guard. So you see the first statement and you don't evaluate the second one. I have a similar such situation with the or statement. The or is, is a double bar. That's right above your enter key. If you hold down the shift key above the backslash, it'll give you a bar. Okay, so that'll give you, a, if you two of those make the or statement. So this evaluation, if the first, if it doesn't see a slot in this particular situation, it's checking to uh, for um, no slot. So if that's true, in this particular case, it doesn't evaluate the second condition because an or is either or. It's either the first statement is true and or the second statement is true. So if the first one is true, it already evaluates the true and it moves on. So there's another crash guard that can be built in. So you, here you have those three um, condition, those three Boolean operators that were introduced, the and symbol, the or symbol, and the not, okay? The and is exclusive. Both A and B have to be true. The or is either A or B have to be true for the condition to be true. And not is the negative of whatever the expression is. So they're Boolean operators. So you see this at work in the listing 210, which we're going to change. Okay. It says C is too empty. So if there's no slot and uh, if there's no slot or if they see a CD, you're going to turn false. Okay. So what does this mean? This means if this is true, you don't have to run the second condition. Okay. So that's a fail safe. So that's what we're doing in this, in this section. So we're, we're rewriting this listing to contain only one return statement. So let's look back at the statement. So all we have to do to see to empty is um, we just do the check. And then what we do is we reply once, OK? So we're going to just take a check here. Um, we're going to look at the current slot, and we're going to check to see if it sees a slot in the CD. And if that's true, we're going to move on. And then we're going to check the next slot, and then we're going to back off. Else, uh, you know, the next slot, we're, the next slot, we're going to return a false. Or uh, we're going to look at both the current slot and the next slot and return the value from that. So basically, um, it's going to be a little more complicated, but not really that much. Okay, let's do it. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to open a new class. So I click new class. And I call this one, what? C's too empty. Click OK. Now I right click this and I go open the editor. I do delete everything, control A and click delete. I'm ready to go. I type in here. Type in here my command. Let it come down another line. Going to write in here public class my Vic extends Vic. Then I'm going to um, put in my uh, Boolean, public Boolean cease to empty. So next, I'm going to instantiate three um, variables, current slot, next slot, and value to return. 
and I'm going to make them have Boolean values. So next I'm going to um, check from the current slot. Does it see his next slot? Does it see anything in the next slot? And if it does, does it see a CD there? So now we're going to do an if statement here. If current slot is true, we're going to do something. Otherwise, we're going to do something else. So if it's true, there is a uh, if current slot is true. And now we're going to move on. And at the next slot, we're going to see if they, we can see a slot from there and if there's a CD. Next thing is move on. There we go. Now we're going to check the next slot to see if there's a C uh, slot in there and to see if um, there's a CD in there. Then we're going to back up, put a backup command in there. Then we're going to close out that if statement and then we're going to go to our else statement. If it was true, if the current slot had um, existed, then we're going to move on or check the next slot out, and then we're going to back up. Otherwise, we're going to report that there is no next slot. So now we're going to return um, the status of the current slot. So if the current slot is true, then we evaluate the next slot. However, if the current slot is false, it's obviously we're going to just evaluate to false. So now we're going to return whatever it is, true or false. And we'll compile it. Everything's good. In um, assignment 239, we're supposed to draw the UML diagram for the program and listing 2.1. So this section, uh, 2.9, is all about um, UML class diagrams. And what we're looking at is on the top section here, what we're doing is we're naming the name of the class. Then underneath here, in our third section here, we name the name of the method. So here we have a main method. In the VIC, we have new, take CD, move on, see CD, reset, see slot, and put CD. So that's the two to four UML class diagram for the two to four. And this is, tells you what dependency is. The two to four depends on the VIC program. So on exercise 240, 239, we're supposed to draw the UML diagram for the program and listing 2.1. So here's the 2.1. So what does the 2.1 depend on? It has a void method, a main method. Okay. It depends on the VIC program, doesn't it? So you see in our example down here below, what methods does the VIC class have? New, take CD, move on, CCD, reset, et cetera, et cetera. So it's pretty straightforward. It's going to look almost the same as this. So um, what I think, yeah, I think I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Paint. So I'm going to go to All Programs. I'm going to go to Accessories. And I'm going to find Microsoft Paint. So this is Microsoft Paint. So I'm going to um, make me a square. So I click down Shapes, and I'm going to get me a square. And I'm going to draw one here. And I'm going to draw a square for the VIC. A little bigger, probably. Now I'm going to draw me a line. Draw the line thing. And 
this one is called what? We'll just stick the A and we'll write here. This is called move one. Click A again and put it in here. And this is the VIC program. So what methods do we say that the main that the move one had? It had a main method. That's all, right? So that's all we need to put in here. It needs to be underlined. So I'm going to click here this. So again, click in here. And um, I'm going to click on the underline button. And I'm going to put in main. Turn the underline off. Put my parentheses. Now what program did the VIC head? Well, let's look. Just move on. New is a new method. Okay, we use move on. We use take CD. And we use um, backup and put CD. So I'm going to highlight this. Right click copy. Um, right click paint. Right click paste. Come on down. So what's the next one? Uh, we did. We have a move on in here. So it depends on move on from here. So I'm copy back into paint, and I'm going to paste it in there. There we go. And what else do we use? I'm going to click on A again, put it in here. Okay, we're, it uses the take CD method. Paste it in there. Another backup. That's another method it uses. Right click copy. Paste. So one more method. So what is it? CD. Those are the method methods that are used. I'm going to paint again. Put that last one in there. Read my arrow, don't I? Click pencil, and I'll just draw it in. Five zero. So I'm going to save this. I could save this as exercise two thirty nine. And I'm going to save it. Okay, so I want to cut it. Now I'm going to go up to where my um, AP Computer Science class is. Let's put it in here. So I can just zip this and send it. Okay, so I go back to assignments, and here's chapter two. I just right click it, click send to, and press it, and I'm done. Submit that to 5.0, uh, 6.00 assignment. Okay.